Man, here we go. I am delivering this message with boundless love and boundless reverence and respect and boundless pride. For my boys, my Usos, the Toa Samoa rugby team, they are going to the men's final of the Rugby League World Cup. This is a big deal. They are making history in the world of sports, in the world of rugby. It, this is the first time that uh, our island, our country, our culture of Samoa has ever gone to the finals uh, for any sport. They are making history and I could not be more proud of them. We could not be more proud of them. And I, I, I'm, I just want to say a few things. First of all, I want to thank all the fans, by the way, around the world. Um, thank you to uh, all the players who have reached out to me, who buzz me. Uh, I've been so snowed under and so busy with all the other shit that I have going on uh, that I finally got the word and I wanted to jump on this, send a message. This Saturday is the big game. There are two things, a few things that I want to share with you guys. Um, and I know you have so much on your mind right now. Pressure, 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 the pressure to deliver the pressure to perform. You have the world watching and you have so much on your shoulders. Right now you are proud grandsons, proud sons, proud husbands, proud fathers, proud teammates, proud brothers, proud Usos. Pressure. I understand what it's like to have pressure. I understand what it's like to do stuff where the world is watching. So a few things that I always think about when it comes to scenarios like this, it happened when I was playing football, it happened when I was wrestling for some of the biggest WrestleManias of all time, it happened in this crazy world of Hollywood, it happens outside of Hollywood in all these other industries. But when it comes to pressure and when it comes to delivering, where you have so many people relying on you and you have it all on your shoulders, I understand. There's a few things that I always think about, I always think about, and I want you guys to think about this too. And I know you got a lot of stuff on your mind. Number one is grit. Grit. There's a term that you guys know. It's called Fa'asamoa. And when I was growing up, my grandfather, Haichi Peter Maivia, my grandmother, Leah Maivia, even my mom, Atta, still today we talk about grit. Uh, there's a term Fa'asamoa. Now I know my Samoan <laughs> always needs some improvement as I'm always learning. Um, but that is the one term, the one of the many Samoan terms that I always embody because to me, my grandfather always taught me that yes, Fa'a Samoa is proud of who you are, where you come from, what's in your blood, what's in your DNA, what's deep in here, your mana. Um, that's the thing that separates us from everyone else. But it also means grit and it's the grit, the drive, that force that you operate as if your backs are up against the wall and there is nowhere to go but ahead, but forward. It's grit I think about, and the other one is legacy. And the other, th and when it comes to legacy, you guys are defining your legacy right here, right here, right now. And when I think about legacy, I think about my grandfather, I think about my dad, the soul man, Rocky Johnson. Think about my grandparents, all my ancestors, all your ancestors, our ancestors are watching. History is watching, but our ancestors are always watching. So when you take that field this Saturday in Manchester and you have that grit and your DNA is just full of our Samoan pride and culture and you think about that legacy and the legacy that you guys want to define because there's two sides to legacy. Number one is the side that you've already made history. You've already made history. You've arrived, you've arrived. But the other side, the legacy, and this is the special side, is when you take that field in Manchester, you leave it all out on the field and you win. That's the other side to legacy. And I got goosebumps right now. I don't know if you guys could see that. While I was there with you guys on Saturday, I put on a Toa Samoa jersey and I would play, I'd take that field. Man, I'd be running that rock with you guys. I'd probably get my ass kicked, <laughs> but that's okay. Grit, legacy, 
Uh, my Usos, I love you. I'm so proud of you. We are all so proud of you. Take that field, make history, and win. I just scared the shit out of the neighbors, but that's okay. It's good for them. Win. Love you, Usos.